What's up guys and welcome to Natero. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the general reading for somebody. So let's see who's gonna get it. Pisces. What's up Pisces? Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are doing so well today. So I'm going to pull two oracles, clarify and give you some advice. This is a side message. Waning crescent moon, surrender, restoration, and trust. Trust that the universe is asking you to give up something now that you no longer need, all right? Trust that. Don't, you know, keep holding on to something. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. I'm also hearing trust that, that you need to stop doing something now or go back to the... Let's get back to the basics. Get back to regular, regular programming or something like that, okay? You have Ape House, Saturn, and Descendant with Fire, okay? Radiant, enthusiastic, dynamic, attraction, relationships, partnerships, Saturn, um, discipline, obstacles, boundaries, and metamorphosis, death, rebirth. I feel like after a very hard transition, a very hard shift within yourself, um, love is coming in. Okay, um, I feel like you learned a lot of harsh lessons when it comes to love, which is why you're ready for this now. Okay, super moon, luminosity, intimacy, hyper awareness. I feel like you and this person are going to have very amazing um, sexual stuff. Okay, I do feel like it's going to be like a breath of fresh air being with this person. There's definitely love coming for you, okay? It could be with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or Scorpio, or um, an Aries specifically. Competition, action, willpower. I feel like people might be fighting for you. Um, all right. All right, the first card you have is second house, okay? Taurus energy, you could be dealing with the Taurus or have it in your chart. Finances, value, possessions, okay? So your finances is being highlighted. A new start is coming, all right? So something with your finances, your stability is a new start. But this is very good. Something is going to start off great, too. What is this? second house and a new start is coming the fool the devil the six of pentacles and the page of pentacles in reverse okay you're definitely gonna take a leap of faith ten of wands at the bottom of the deck um look at all these wands um now i feel like you're gonna have to address something though pass eh? um you're gonna have to address something you have been feeding the devil in some way. This devil could be a person, place, or thing. Something that is negative, a bad tendency, a temptation, something. You have been feeding it, and you have to address this. I feel like this new start is going to address this devil energy. And I feel like um, you're going to realize that it's gonna. you can't take it with you. Or you're going to have to do something about this devil. What is this devil here? The Four of Swords, the Ace of Cups in reverse, mm -hmm. and the Emperor. It could be an Aries in the Strength card or a Leo. Um, I feel like you're really in your head um, about this. This doesn't even make you feel good, though. But you're just like, no, I need to do this. I need to do this. No, you don't need to do this. The negative energy is making you feel like you need to do this. You're strong enough to stand up for it. Your your wish is here. You need to be stronger than your... Um, what is this emperor? The hangman, the two of pentacles in reverse, the nine of pentacles, and the five of cups in reverse. You need to change your perspective here. I feel like, yeah, you know, some of you guys are like, it's not, it's not easy to just drop this. Of course it's not. It was easy to get into. It's not going to be easy to get out of. The devil is always so easy and so and so amazing to get into. But getting out of the devil's energy, yeah, but you can. Especially with the strength card. 
you I feel like you're giving yourself excuses, okay? You feel like you're you're in, in control or in power in some way by having this around you or doing this, but you're not. It's actually hurting you a lot more than you think. The Nine of Pentacles is here. You'll be a lot better without it. Trust. Will it be hard in the in the beginning to kind of like get your footing and yeah, but you know, you need to do this because this new beginning is going to require you to look at that. What's the Six of Pentacles? The Seven of Wands, the Six of Pentacles again, and the Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. Yeah, I feel like um, you do this a lot or you're around this person a lot or you give to this way too much. Okay. I feel like whatever this is, it's something that it could be something that makes something easier for you but in reality it's actually not gonna work out in the long run like it, it might be working out right now but in the long run it's not and i feel like the universe is kind of like yo this new beginning when it comes to your finance and your stability you need to protect it and you need to really check yourself real quick the people that you have around you what you're doing with your money where is it going who where is it being spent it's very important that you really look at that and don't take the easy route in things, okay? Um, the next card you have is opposition, okay? Resistance, struggle, and polarity. So you're resisting something here. Step out of your comfort zone because it's going to require you to get out of your comfort zone. That's the only way we grow. And if you don't go, you're you're going to be struggling. So you have you should just go. All right. I feel like the North Node energy, this is the path you're supposed to be going on. What is opposition and step out of your comfort zone? You have the Ten of Swords in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse, the Eight of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Wands with the magician okay you're the high priestess here but you're in reverse you're not listening to your intuition you're making something harder for yourself and you're also causing delays i feel like something is not going to be as bad as you think it's not even going to be bad at all but you it's what you manifested and you're ready for this now but i feel like you're kind of like this not a cups it's kind of giving me like you know you're like, no, it's not perfect. Nothing is perfect. What is this ten of swords in reverse? The Hierophant, the Eight of Cups, and the Two of Wands in reverse. This situation, you you learned your lesson already. Like I feel like you're just like, no, I'm not gonna do this because I'm not trying to, I'm not gonna repeat my I'm not gonna repeat the lesson or I'm not gonna do this because I you know last time I did this or da 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 da, -da. you're not gonna repeat it. You, you already learned. You already learned. You're causing delays by not doing this. What's the high priestess in reverse? It's going to be with the Taurus, the Judgment, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. You got people in your ear that don't know what the freak they're talking about. These people that are, that are giving you advice and telling you not to do this are people that are unstable in their life. They don't know what the freak is going on with them. And no, they're unstable, Pisces. You should not take advice from people whose life is unstable or whose life you don't want to have. These people have unstable family situation or money situation trying to tell you not to do something. They need to look at themselves and tell themselves to freaking work on their stuff. What is this ten of wands? You could trust these people, but I wouldn't. They don't know what the freak they're talking about. The emperor, the hangman in reverse, and the two of swords. Yeah, that you're you don't know what to do here because something is becoming hard, and you're just like, yo, this is this way is too hard. Like, yeah, because it's not supposed to be the way. That's not supposed to be the way. You have control of the situation. You don't have to go by off what your family is saying or what somebody else is saying to you. Change your perspective. You're not stuck. What is the Eight of Wands in reverse? Are you living for your family, your friends, or whatever, or for you? I'm sorry. Who, who, this is your life. The Ten of Wands in reverse, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and Nine of Swords in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. You have the devil here. Some of y'all are going to let the devil win here, and you're going to just drop this, even though you don't want to. 
what you are. You're gonna, you're gonna try to take the easy route and you're gonna fall into temptation for a lot of you. Knight of Wands in reverse, the Strength card in reverse. Yeah, I feel like it, it's gonna become, it's like instead of you taking the route that you should take, this could be somebody else. Take it how it resonates. This could be somebody doing this. But I have to take it as you because how I'm getting it. Instead of you taking the route that you that you that's gonna make you uncomfortable because you're gonna grow. And it's not gonna it's not as bad as you think. Um you you took advice from some people in your life who are not stable within themselves and you got into something that is going to be difficult to get out of with this double energy here. Or this is what somebody else did. Okay. All right. The last card you have is Waxing Gibbous Moon. All right. Um, nurturing Patience Refinement. Okay. So I feel like the universe is like... Now, I don't feel like it's tweaking. I don't feel like it's tweaking. I feel like the universe wants you to, like, start taking care of something more, you know, like, periodically or something like that. Confidence is your key to success, okay? Um, whatever this is, I feel like um, other people could see it. It's like you're, you're in the spotlight um, or other people could see it, okay? Or it's, you, it's like you have to make something look really nice, really pretty, like keep up with the look. That could be yourself as well. What is confidence is your key to success and waxing give a moon? It's like when you feel good about your, when you look good, you feel good about yourself. When your environment looks good, um, you feel good, okay? What is the three of wands in reverse? What is the seven of wands, the ace of cups, and the nine of wands with the temperance? I do feel like you have some type of new emotional experience coming in. Could be love or something that's going to make you very, very happy, okay? With the temperance here, I feel like it's you're very balanced um, within yourself here, okay? But you are going to have your guard up when it comes to the things that you have to do to maintain this new emotional thing, all right? Um, and I feel like the universe is like, you got to do what you got to You got to do it. You know, like it's just, it's just, it just is what it is. This could, this could be as small as, you know, you, you bought a new car or something and in order to keep it in tip top shape, you, you should wash it every month or wash it every week or, you know, get it detailed or something. I don't know. Like it could be as small as that or as big as, you know, you just bought a house and you need to keep up with the whatever's. All right, take it how it resonates. What is um, this Seven of Wands here? The Two of Wands, the Judgment in Reverse, and the Queen of Wands. <laughs> Bro. Nothing is beneath you, Pisces. Some of y'all are like, I, don't, I can't do that. Like, I don't, that's not my job. Yes, it is your job. Who else's job is it? This is yours. Some of y'all need to, you know, lower that ego just a smidge. Some of y'all are like, I, I, I'm too, I look too good to be doing this. Yeah, I need to drop that ego, just like, seriously. Yeah, get down and dirty. Yeah, do it. What you thought? This is why the universe is, is doing this. They're like, oh, we're going to bring you this, but you better, you better suit and boot. You better get to work. You know what I'm saying? This is something that you, this is like your baby. You have to take care of this. Maintain it. Yes, you're gonna have to get down and dirty. So what? What's the nine of what's the nine of wands? The fool in reverse, the tower, and the king of cups. You're ready for this, and this is yours, period. And if you decide, oh wait, no, I can't do that. Like I can't what? No. The universe is gonna force you to do it with the tower. If you don't take this leap of faith, the universe will force you to take the leap of faith because you're supposed to do this. What is this um ace of cups? The Queen of Swords in reverse, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Four of Cups in reverse with the Eight of Wands. <sighs> yeah, I feel like maybe maybe you accepted this or you did this on the whim or really, really quickly. And people around you could be like, That's, that wasn't a good decision. Like, you should have waited. Da, 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 da. You have the Four of Cups in reverse. You knew this was the right decision. The universe told you. 
you know, your angels, your intuition, your guide, you know, you're the psych, you're the most psychic of the signs, Pisces. So it was clear to you that you had to do this. So don't allow the naysayers to convince you otherwise. And don't allow the naysayers negative energy to kind of like bum you out and make you be like, oh, I don't need to do this. I don't need to. Nah. You know, like, don't allow that. It could be other people's energy around you that's making you feel like you don't have to do this or whatever. Right? Maybe you're allowing their like, you shouldn't have done that to kind of steep in a little bit. Don't. Stay on top of it. All right? All right, I'm going to give you some advice now. What is the second house? I mean, no star is coming. You have the two of cups. All right. Um, soulmates, attraction, companionship, feelings, partnership, true love, and affinity. So I feel like there could be a new start in love here. All right. Or you're going to take a new leap of faith with your partner. All right. And I feel like you both are working on releasing the double energy that you guys both have, which is very good. Very good. The five of coins. Yeah. Both of you guys could kind of be like isolated from yourself right now or kind of like taking your own time, which is needed because you guys are both working on the same thing and y'all need space or this could come together after you guys took space. What is opposition and step out of your comfort zone? You have judgment, judgment, rebirth, awakening, resurrection, inner calling and transformation. Yeah, this is your calling. This is what I'm saying. This is coming back around, Pisces. Or, or you're being guided to, to, to go back or to come back around to this because this is your calling. This is what you're supposed to be doing. The perspective card. Perspective, limbo, sacrifice, letting go, surrender, enlightenment, delays, reflection, and insight. I feel like you're going to um, have to sacrifice something or surrender whatever it was that you went into in order to come back to this. Or this is what somebody is doing. Okay, but it's like something is coming back to life because this is what was supposed to happen. Period. Okay, the universe always wins. What is um, confidence is your key to success and waxing give us none? You have seven of coins. Harvest, patience, reward, perspective, results, dividends, progress, and profit. Um... Yeah, I do feel like something is very stable. Something is very secure with this tractor here. It could definitely be a vehicle, all right? I feel like the universe rewarded you with this here, and they want you to have the patience to see the progress, the results, and how this is actually going to, the the work that they're asking you to do now, and how it's going to um, benefit you down the line. Because that's what it is. It's the work that you're doing now, how, it's, how it, you're, sell, you're setting a solid foundation for the future of this, okay? And then you have the five of swords, conflict, struggle, fight, aggression, defeat, bully, sacrifice, intimidation, and abuse. Did I not say these mother effers? They're trying to intimidate you. They're just mad because you probably did a very good thing and they, and they're mad that why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I think of that? Because you're not Pisces. You're not Pisces. I feel like these people want to see you struggle mentally they don't, they don't, because they are struggling mentally. They want to see you <laughs> just like them. But you're not like that because you have an intuition and you trust it. Right? <laughs> all right, Pisces. All that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this. And stay positive.